everybody. I'm glad you're here today. I'm going to get right to it. I'm bringing you a viewer dream. I think this is timely and I think it is urgent. So that is an, uh, that is how I'm starting this whole thing. And, and I, I hope you listen to the end because this person also gave an interpretation of this dream. If I were to put a title or, well, I am, I'm going to put a title on this dream and, and I'm taking their own words, uh, it would be prepare for war. Now that is obviously, you know, we are always battling in the spirit. Uh, through the Holy Spirit, we are going to win. We are on the winning side and we are always on holy ground because we belong to Christ. Uh, so we need not fear. But um, there also is some practical advice in this as far as preparing in the natural also. So I'm just going to get right to it. The dream is not very long. But I will also say it also has elements that other people have dreamt and that I myself and my, my dad has dreamed, uh, dreamt, dreamed. Um, I do have, uh, I, right now she's quiet, but I have this chicken over there that keeps yelling and screaming. So we're just going to press on with this video. If you hear her, she's really okay, but I don't, she's got just, uh, you know, a burr under her saddle today, I guess. Anyway, to the dream. I will start it, and I'll read through it, and then I'm just going to summarize their interpretation. All right. This person wishes to remain anonymous. They are not, uh, they do not live in the United States. i put it like that. Okay, here's how the dream starts. Family members were all sleeping around a Christmas tree where we were supposed to keep watch. We all... Uh, we're very worn out and tired, extremely exhausted, sleeping and slumbering. The enemy army, an enemy army, was approaching our house and coming up the driveway. We were told to wake up from a voice, but we could barely open our eyes even a little bit. Wake up, wake up, wake up was said again and again and again until we finally, eventually did, even though we barely could. We had to fight fight through it physically um there was a tiredness that they had to break through and it was so very hard to do so we had to fight through the exhaustion and force ourselves to wake up then get up and go there was no time uh we have no we had no time we were to run into the forest or the bushes and that was the end of the dream. Now, their first takeaway from that was that we are in a season. Uh, well, they had this, let me just say right here. They had this dream in 2001. So it was a long time ago, which doesn't really matter to me. Because we can dream things or get words from God that don't manifest for decades. So, And sometimes we may not even see that in our real lives. Um, have them come true so that's not a big deal to me but what of their first takeaway was we are in the season right now that we need to wake up now see my dad had that dream about uh, what's around the corner that dream you might go back and look at it um, he was so into that dream about the big dog a demonic dog that was like fixing to kill him uh, and my mom had to wake him up and he could hear her in the dream while he was still dreaming saying wake up wake up wake up so I found that compelling when I read this viewers dream that we are it seems like that's a an element in our dreams that may be something we need to note that this is not a time to be asleep. <laughs> this is not a spiritually or any other way. This is, let me just put it in the positive. This is a time to be alert. There are people, I believe, that are uh, in the body of Christ that are meant to be watching and alert and warning. I, I'm not sure if I don't fall in, I may fall into that category. I don't know yet. I'm still learning about that. But, um, it would bode us well to heed that warning, to wake up and see what's going on and look at what's going on. There's this thing called normalcy bias. I don't know if y'all have heard about my other 
people on on YouTube talking about it. The normalcy bias is the is the temptation to kind of shift a, into what's comfortable for you, even though the world's on fire around you, and kind of it's a denial kind of frame of mind. Surely it's not as bad as what it looks like, and you just keep telling yourself that. To it's kind of a survival technique. So. I think what this dream and this dreamer is saying is we don't have the luxury to slip into that normalcy bias. I don't know about y'all, but the last two and a half years, there were things and times when I was like, surely that won't happen. Surely they won't make us do that. Surely that won't be a, a thing. And all of a sudden, it's a thing. <laughs> all of a sudden, uh, what I didn't think surely would not happen is actually happening. So um, I don't I don't think that anymore. Uh, so I do think it's a time to be alert spiritually. Now, I also think uh, this person described it as getting ready in the spirit. That means praying, fasting, worshiping, spending time in the word, uh, in the Bible and reading, um, spending time with other believers. Even the corporate corporate worship is is so important and you need to get together with others and pray and sing and worship. Many good things can come from that, but um, that's what we need to be seeking, thinking about things eternal right now. Uh, now, uh, December, y'all, I'm not a big person on, oh, this is going to happen at this time, mainly because I, I think the Lord is very interested in growing our faith instead of um, checking off the box. You see, I'm talking to you, and what I said is true, like proving a prophecy or proving a dream was from him. I don't think that's ever his emphasis most of the time. But I do think he wants us to grow in our faith. That being said, <laughs> there is something about December. And I will say that my dad has gotten dreams about December that were related actually to the country that invaded the European country uh, along the, that used to be the, uh, the old, um, the, well, can I say this? I don't know if in USSR, can I say that on YouTube and not get in trouble? We'll find out. <laughs> I just did. So that country that used to be that nation, uh, my dad has had dreams about them and about their leader and about December. That was our best interpretation. I myself have been giving a somewhat of a word. It's been back in 2020, and I haven't shared this with anybody. Uh, but the word I got from God is December cold and dark. I, I don't know what that means. Does that mean winter? Does that mean l literally? Does that mean December this December? And uh, You know, I don't know. But heads up in December, spiritually, maybe we need to fortify ourselves in the spirit. Um, this person goes on to say uh, that, you know, we need to take action. We cannot just sit around and expect um, <laughs> everything to just be a hunky dory when we don't do anything you know there is an element of you know get off your butt and 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 this person uh says you know noah did not just you know god said build an ark and he just didn't sit there waiting for wood to float by and on the water you know and build he had to go get the gopher wood um so uh you know that is something to note right now it takes and even uh is it peter i believe it may be paul uh, who says, be disciplined in your prayer. Um, to me, that means uh, you need to have a game plan. You, you, prayer needs to not just be when it's convenient for you necessarily. Now, it does not need to become a work where you think you are earning your your place in heaven by doing this, 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 and this, or that somehow God is going to be um, give you extra points because you prayed this many times a day. Not, not that mindset, but like my thought would be, why wouldn't we want to pray all the time? Why wouldn't, why don't, why don't we want to, 
just seek the Father out continually. And granted, we all work and we all have other things in the day, but it's the attitude of just connecting with Him throughout the day. Uh, and, and, and this person isn't saying that's part of the action to take place. And I, I will say that's probably one of the most important things you can do. Now then, uh, this person writes down, uh, goes on to say that they also believe uh, that the Lord is showing them that the food shortage is going to be huge. A severe famine is coming. They even believe that was affirmed by some of the scripture God pointed them to. A severe famine is coming. I I have gotten dreams like that. Like even I had a dream where I, I saw our grain elevator just explode. I mean, I heard it first and then it was just on fire. And I'm going to do a video and show you how huge this grain elevator is in our town. Uh, I think that's huge. And um, I also had a dream just like the next day that I went to the store, the grocery store, and our grocery store is called Lowe's, L-O-W-E-S. And on the sign, the E-S was marked out, like scratched out. So it said low. Like the food in the grocery store was going to be low. Um, so I that's how I interpret those things, uh, along with other... Though we've had other dreams too, my dad especially. So I do believe a severe famine is coming. And at this person says, overall, I believe the word of the Lord at the moment is prepare like it is war. Prepare like it is war and do as much as possible now. And I mean, they like now is in huge capital, no time to wait or slumber. Now, I agree with this. Get, they say, get ready, prepare, go, go, go. Wake up, prepare spiritually, but also physically if he's leading you in that way. And I will just say, there was a time in 2019 when I first began seeking, oh, Chloe, no, no. When I first began seeking the Lord and like actually stopping and listening for his voice and learning it, um, I kept hearing the word gather, gather. I wrote it in my journal and I would tell my husband, the Lord is saying gather. And I kept thinking it was people, you know, like gather people together and I don't know, have a sandwich supper or an ice cream. I don't know. You know, I wasn't in, I wasn't in prepare for war mode back then. So I, you know, I kept hearing that. And then when the pandemic started, in 2020, I mean, I was already, like, we are kind of preppers anyway. So, you know, we had we had things, but then it just dawned on me one morning, gather means not people, duh, it means food and water and uh, other forms of electricity. It means gather what you need to, uh, in your ark, <laughs> medical supplies whatever that is and and I think that's what this person is saying and seeing also and warning this is a warning to prepare uh, we are in I, I I do not know uh, how long this is going to last uh, but we are definitely in a time where food is still on the shelves in America for sure. Uh, but like, I just went to Walmart this morning. Like I got up early. Y'all know I get up early and I left and where I go to Walmart, it's in New Mexico. So the time difference, there's this mountain time there. So by the, it's about 8.30 my time, 7.30 their time. So there wasn't hardly anybody in the store. My son was with me and we are definitely alert and watchful when we go into Walmart these days. Anyway, there was food on the shelves, but there were some things that weren't on the shelves that usually are. I didn't see any turkeys. I didn't see, um, I didn't see a lot of things I usually buy. Uh, and the prices were brutal. 
So a lot of things I just said, nope, I can't, I can't afford that. I choose, I choose not to buy that. I've got to put my money on butter and milk and bread and essentials, not the fluff items. So, you know, uh, that's what I did. So that's the reality of my area where I live. I don't know what it's like where you live. We are in a sweet window of time right now. The storms, I think, are going to come. Prepare as if it were war, everyone. If you look what's going on in that country that starts with an R and has a double S in the middle and ends in an A, uh, if you look what's happening there today, their lives have changed dramatically in the last 72 hours. And if I were mama over there, thinking my son was fixing to be, go fight, I'd be having a real hard time. I'm having a hard time for him. Uh, my son is fighting age. I can't imagine. I don't want to imagine. But in the United States, we're not facing that today. So make a list. Get shelf-stable food. Get another freezer if you can afford it. Stock it full of, y'all, it's harvest. There's fresh fruit. There's fetch, fresh vegetables. I know they're higher in price. But I'll tell you what, if you don't buy them now in six months, they may not even be there. And if they are, they're going to even be more. So I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm not scared. But this person is warning. They sense it in the spirit. I sense it in the spirit. Get ready now. Prepare as if you were at war. All right, that's all I have right now. I'm bringing a dream that my father had. I'm bringing it this weekend. I want you to tune in. It's phenomenal. Uh, at least I thought it was. And um, has to do with some things in Revelation. So tune in. I'll post it Saturday or Sunday. Thank you for all you do and your listening and stay close to God right now. That's all I have. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.